Hey there, I'm Sarah K. Hoffman, a holistic health coach and chief gutsy of a gutsygirl.com. I went from bloated, gassy, and infertile to living my best life with a strong microbiome and a very full house. On this show, no topic is too stinky to discuss, and everything can be broken down into practical, digestible takeaways. Have you ever heard of the poop chart? Well, it's actually called the Bristol Stool Scale or the Bristol Stool Chart. And today I want to do just a quick little reading from my 90-day gut healing journal. And this comes from page six, and it's all about the Bristol stool chart information. Dr. Ken Heaton, MD from the University of Bristol created the Bristol stool chart in 1997 through a study where they measured the transit time of their food from the entrance to exit with radiopaque pellets and had them keep a diary of their stool using this scale. Upon completion of the trial, the Bristol stool chart was born as a universal way to track transit time. The chart can be used to help identify gastrointestinal distress or food sensitivities even. It is a diagnostic medical tool designed to classify the form of human feces into seven categories. The reason I wanted to read that is just to give you a little context behind the Bristol stool chart and where it came from and why it's so important. As you heard, it is and can be a medical diagnostic tool. And that's why I wanted to include it in my journal so that you had a way for accurately tracking your bowel movements every single day. But of course I wanted to do it in a prettier way. So I created my own symbols for the entire Bristol stool chart so that you could better understand what your poop is telling you about what's going on in your digestive system. So type one is for those of you who lean more towards constipation. This would be separate hard lumps. You know, they're very, you know, it's it's hard to, to push through you. That's what the type one is. All the way up to type seven, which is watery. There's no solid pieces. This is just entirely liquid, and this is obviously diarrhea. Now, where we wanna be on the Bristol stool chart on a day-to-day basis is a type three to a type four, which is very much so like a sausage with smooth cracks and almost looks like a big, long snake when you look inside of the toilet. I understand that this all sounds really disgusting. It sounds like stuff especially women shouldn't talk about, right? But I must and I have to and I continue to and I will always preach and teach about the Bristol stool scale because it can actually save your life. If you're realizing patterns that you're having diarrhea or you're severely constipated week after week, month after month, there is definitely something more that's going on. If you're not a three to a four every day, that's okay. And even if you're a one or a seven from time to time, that's okay. But when you start to see patterns of these extremes, day after day, month after month, and going on to year after year, you must take action. If you wanna record it in a proven system, you can grab my 90 day gut healing journal and I will help you along with your journey. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions about the Bristol stool chart or about um, any of the types, please ask them in the questions below or see my post on agutsygirl.com all about the Bristol stool chart. All right, hope you have a perfect bowel movement today.